Yo, what's up guys? My name is SFAN and today what I wanna do in this video is I want to go over seal twisting. The last guide video I did, people absolutely loved it. Uh, I've gotten a lot of good feedback about it and I, I made that season of discovery paladin leveling guide right before launch. There's a lot of stuff that either myself or others have figured out, whether it be uh, about season of discovery and just the, the little, little things that you can do with the different runes and whatnot, or just what you guys wanna see. And one of the biggest things that I hear about is seal twisting. S fan, can I seal twist in season of discovery? What is seal twisting? Well, here's what we're gonna do. Today, I wanna do a completely comprehensive guide on everything seal twisting. This is gonna be within the scope of vanilla and Burning Crusade mostly, and, and really kind of tying that into Season of Discovery and what Season of Discovery is. Short explanation, just so you guys don't get confused, I think there's going to be a lot of new players, new Paladin players, new Classic WoW players, new MMO players, and uh, I, I want to make sure that this guide is easy to understand for somebody who's new and uh, try and try and have as much good information for you as possible. So let's get to it. So whenever you are talking about seal twisting in vanilla WoW, in classic Burning Crusade, you really wanna start at the top level. Starting at the top, let's really talk about the core of what the Paladins, uh, what the Paladin revolves around, that's the auto attack. There's a lot of misinformation out there uh, and uh, really a lot of, uh, it's not even misinformation as much as it is lack of information about how Paladins work in Classic WoW and, and really how they're designed. I, I think it's important to go and, and give like a proper overview of everything. Again, this is gonna be very comprehensive. Uh, I hope it's entertaining and uh, I hope you guys learned something today, uh, whether you're a new or maybe if you're you're a more experienced player and you're just, you're just curious. Anyway, let's talk about the auto attack. So Paladins in Classic WoW have the core of their damage is based around the auto attack. And to be honest with you, really all melee, uh, the core of their damage is based around the auto attack. It's, it's very, very important to, uh, to, to know your swing timer, know when you're hitting, whether you're a rogue, whether you're a warrior, paladin, whatever it is, uh, it's very important to make sure your auto attacks are landing, first off, and uh, to know when they're landing because there's going to be different techniques and different things that you do with each class that, that revolves around that. But specifically for the Paladin, that's your core, that's your base. In Season of Discovery, you get uh, an, an instant strike, which is Crusader Strike. So if you're playing on Classic Era, you don't have this, but in Season of Discovery, you do get a Crusader Strike. In Burning Crusade, you do get a Crusader Strike. In Season of Discovery, you also get uh, a Whirlwind Divine Storm rune. Uh, ability, but the core of what you're doing is is the auto attack. It's so important it's So important to land your auto attacks. It's very important to have your seals up So let's talk about what seals are and what the seal judge system is Seals are a 30 second self buff that imbues your paladin with holy power that makes your attacks do some kind of additional effect whether it's damage or whether it's something else, that's what the seals are. The judgment part of the seal judge system is when you take that holy power, you, you know, cast the seal, oh, boom, you're expelling that holy energy into the target. And what that does is that either does direct damage or it does, uh, gives them some kind of a debuff or something like that. And we're gonna talk about all that within the scope of what seal twisting is as well. Something that a lot of people ask whenever it comes to seal twisting is asking about add-ons, asking about macros and all that stuff. And while there's a, you can get kind of crafty with some things uh, as far as like starting your attack and stopping your attack. Really, I I'm just gonna go over the baseline of what you need. And I would say that you need a swing timer. And uh, like I mentioned before, you need a you need a swing timer. There's weapon swing timer. Uh, there's also the swedge timer is, is another really good one. I, I, I personally, like usually I just use a swing timer and I just count the timer. But Swedge makes a, a, a really good uh, seal twisting swing timer. And uh, I don't know if it's up to date right now, 100%, but um, that's really good as well. So as far as macros go, uh, the only macro that I would say is really, really valuable, you can do some things where you stop your attack with a certain seal and then you, you wait until the next one and then you start attacking right whenever you do your seal. There's some stuff like that that you can do. But the only one that I personally use uh, pretty much regularly is just a... Crusader Strike, start attack, cast Crusader Strike. Uh, and, and what this does is I use my seal. I might not be attacking or I'm running up to the target. And then I use the next seal. And then I immediately hit uh, the Crusader Strike macro. Now, the Crusader Strike might not go off because I'm in my global cooldown. So I might, even though I'm not in the global cooldown, I'm spamming, right? I'm like, t -t 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 -t. I'm spamming two, right? In my case, I might be like four for Righteousness. Then I cast Seal of Martyrdom at one, 
and then I go two, 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 and I start my attack right away, but I keep hitting two until my Crusader Strike goes off, is, is typically how I do it. So um, that's the only thing that I would say is like really valuable as far as macros go. But other than that, you don't really need anything else. Any, any extra add-ons or any extra macros for seal twisting. I personally do some different weak auras and stuff that I, uh, I will share in a command. I will do uh, exclamation point WA or exclamation point weak aura in my Twitch chat. If you want to come on over to my Twitch chat, you can type that in chat. And then whenever those are ready, uh, they'll be updated and they'll uh, they'll go out there. I haven't posted them yet. And the only reason I haven't posted them is just because I, I feel like they're kind of buggy and scuffed. And uh, I'm, I'm not like a weak aura wizard or anything, but uh, one, one of my guildies has helped me with this and, and uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep trying to refine those before, uh, before I share them just cause I don't want to, I don't want to put out a weak aura that like doesn't work right. And if it, if I put it out and it doesn't work right, then you know, it is what it is. But I don't, if I know that it doesn't work right already, I don't want to put it out already. Does that make sense? So anyway, uh, there's that. That's kind of all you need to know about like add-ons and macros for seal twisting. So what? is seal twisting anyway. I hear this a lot. What is seal twisting? Can I seal twist? And I hope this video answers all the questions. I feel like I talk about it all stream. Dude, the procs are going hard, man, with a seal twist. And seal twisting is a constant topic of discussion. Before we get into what seal twisting is exactly, uh, I'm gonna do a brief overview of all the different seals in Classic WoW uh, in Season of Discovery. And uh, and I'll, I'll mention a couple extra ones as well, just so you guys have the information available. If you if you play on Era, let's say you watch this video and you're playing on Classic Era, this, this guide will also be relevant to you as well. So let's go ahead and start with uh, Seal of Righteousness. Seal of Righteousness is what you get at level one. It gives you a flat holy damage add onto each one of your attacks. It, it imbues you with holy power. You have a flat damage add, holy damage add onto each one of your attacks. And the Judgment of Righteousness uh, does direct holy damage onto the target. You, you take that holy power that you're imbued with and boom, you expel it into your target, does direct damage. The next seal that we're going to talk about is Seal of the Crusader. What Seal of the Crusader does is, again, for 30 seconds, it's a self buff that gives you a uh, it gives you an attack power increase, and then also makes you attack 40% faster. Sounds really good, right? Not quite, because it also reduces the amount of damage that you do. So it's not really a huge DPS increase here, and I really don't recommend using it that often outside of like leveling a weapon skill or something. The Judgment of the Crusader is uh, really where the value of this comes from, but it only comes from whenever you're fighting a target that takes a little bit of time to kill because sometimes just that flat holy damage is going to be more valuable for you. So uh, that's Seal of the Crusader. So far, we've talked about Seal of Righteousness. We've talked about Seal of the Crusader. Uh, the next seal that I want to talk about is Seal of Martyrdom. Oftentimes, you will hear me call this Seal of the Martyr or Seal of Blood, especially Seal of Blood. I'll call it Seal of Blood a lot because that's essentially what this seal was originally in, in OG WoW from years ago. In, in Burning Crusade, it was introduced to Blood Elves only. A variation of that now that's been provided to Alliance players in Classic WoW, in, in, in Burning Crusade Classic a couple years ago. Uh, now in Season of Discovery, it's been changed again to, to be given to the Alliance Paladins is Seal of Martyrdom. What Seal of Martyrdom does is, again, it's a 30 second buff that causes each one of your melee attacks to deal 30% weapon damage to your target. However, you lose health equal to 10% of the damage inflicted. So this seal on its own outright should out DPS uh, Seal of Command just by, by the numbers mathematically, but you take return damage every time you hit. Now, while this seal is active, another benefit that you get from the seal is that your party and raid members within 40 yards each gain mana equal to 10% of the damage that you take from this seal. So the mana return aspect of this is something that's new to Season of Discovery. Uh, originally, whenever I saw this, I thought this was insane, it was overpowered, but that's because I had misread it, and I thought it was the amount of damage that's inflicted back to you is also returned to as mana. Uh, what is actually happening here is 10% of that damage is returned to as mana. That is Seal of Martyrdom. You get that from a rune. I got it at level eight. I've heard rumors of people being able to get this at level one, technically, like if they if they have people help them get it, you could, you could maybe get it at level one. I personally got it at level eight whenever I was leveling my Paladin in Season of Discovery. And this is one of your keys to seal twisting. 
The Judgment of Martyrdom does 70% weapon damage at the cost of 10% return damage to you. So it's basically like whenever you judge Seal of Martyrdom, Judgment of Martyrdom does a Seal of Command proc. Think about it that way. The next seal that we're going to talk about is your 11 point talent and retribution, Seal of Command. Seal of Command is your big boy. That's your guy that is, is iconic. It is, a, it is a core part of what the vanilla paladin is. It is a core part of what the Burning Crusade paladin is. That's your big damage, that's your burst. You have a chance on hit to do holy damage, which cuts through armor again, Holy damage equal to 70% of your normal weapon damage. That's the damage that you see on your character screen. Um, and you can judge that very much like Judgment of Righteousness. You can judge command and do the flat holy damage, but this flat holy damage also is doubled if they're stunned by something like a Hammer of Justice or they're incapacitated uh, by something like a Repentance. So that's, uh, that's what Seal of Command is all about. This is the last seal that you can get in phase one of Season of Discovery. And what Seal of Justice does is it gives each melee attack a chance to stun your target for two seconds. The Judgment of Justice in Vanilla WoW makes it to where your target won't flee. It's really a, a PvE judgment. And uh, if you're leveling and you're, you know, you're leveling against something and it gets low health and then it starts running away and then it goes and uh, it goes and talks to another mob and then all of a sudden you have two things running at you, Judgment of Justice prevents that. So you can judge justice and they won't do that. If they're already doing it, you can judge justice and then they'll turn back and they'll keep attacking you and they won't run away and you get more aggro and get killed. Um, so especially if you're playing like hardcore, that's, that's very valuable. Now the last two seals I wanna talk about are actually not currently available in Season of Discovery and that's because you get them in the 30s. So you'll get them in the next phase of Season of Discovery. The first of which is Seal of Light. Seal of Light is a, uh, is a seal that gives you a chance on every single one of your attacks to heal you. Uh, it's, it's a very high chance. It's not PPM based, so it's, it's, it's percentage chance based. So if you have a faster weapon, it's more effective. And also the judgment does the same effect and these two things stack. So if I have a very fast weapon and I have judgment of light on the target and I have seal of light on myself, then I can proc both of these things at the same time and get a lot of health back. Also, whoever else is hitting that target can get health back. So it's very powerful when it comes to healing your raid. Uh, as well, healing a lot of the DPS that are attacking the target. The last seal that we are going to talk about in this brief overview is Seal of Wisdom. Seal of Wisdom works pretty much the same way that Seal of Light does. However, it gives you mana back instead of giving you health back. You can cast Seal of Wisdom on yourself. You can get mana back. You can judge Wisdom and anybody who attacks the target can get mana back. And uh, these two things stack so I can get a lot of mana back with a very fast weapon uh, by attacking that target with wisdom on myself and wisdom on the target. So there we go. That is all the seals in Classic WoW. Let's get into the meat. Let's get into what we're actually talking about here, seal twisting. So the basics of what seal twisting is, is when you have one seal active and then you cast another seal and there's an overlap. That overlap is 400 milliseconds. 0.4 seconds where both your seals are active and they can both apply on the hit. So when we talk about everything being based around that auto attack and paying attention to your swing timers, for a paladin, making sure your seal is active at the point in which you are swinging is very important. That is why typically you want some kind of swing timer add-on or, or weak aura or something like that. Uh, there's some specific ones that are that are designed around seal twisting. Uh, I, I typically use just a, a very classic weapon swing timer. That's why I think it's very important, as with any other class in Classic WoW, to have a swing timer add-on or weak aura or something like that. Uh, this is something that I think everybody should have. I think, I think casters should have it for their wands. I think uh, hunters should have it for their bows. I think all the melee need to make sure that they have a swing timer add-on to know exactly when they're going to hit, but especially for a paladin, it's it's an even bigger part of, of your kit and what's important to your class, and that's making sure that those auto attacks are hitting. So, long story short, that's what seal twisting is. It's when you have one seal up, and then you cast another steal within 0.4 seconds of your attack hitting, and both seals applying onto the target. So in this case, we saw our melee hit hit, our seal of righteousness hit, and our seal of command hit. So as you can see, seal twisting can actually add a lot to the gameplay of what the Paladin is in Classic WoW. I, I think whenever you really start to get some of this information, it 
ends up becoming very, very fun. As, as far as the cons of seal twisting go, it does cost a lot of mana. So you, you, are, you are gonna have to manage your mana a little bit better. I think in classic area, you'll have a lot more problems with your mana than you will in season of discovery. So short and easy, what seal twisting is, is when you have one seal cast, and then right before you swing, you cast another seal. That seal overlaps, as you can see right here, that seal is overlapping for 0.4 seconds. It is a 400 millisecond overlap. That is your buffer of time that you have in order to be able to cast the other seal and make sure that they are both up whenever you attack on the target. And then this leads you to get the effect of both seals. So what this does is this really adds a lot to, uh, to the Paladin rotation, Paladin gameplay. Uh, it, it makes your attack stronger. It makes you more effective and it's, really really fun the reason people like this so much i think is not only because your character gets stronger but just the gameplay of what a lot of classic paladin players are used to and what they like we like rng right we like we like the dice rolls you know that's fun it's exciting so you get a big rush out of taking that plus essentially like what a rhythm game is right where it's like okay you just want to make sure you're on your swing timer within 0.4 seconds boom 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 being able to twist really fun really 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 fun and it, it really in burning crusade classic it like unlocked the potential of what rep paladins could really be and it's something that people didn't know about in the past right in the past uh rep paladins were considered to not be good until wrath of the lich king i'm talking back in like 2007 but whenever burning crusade classic came out now i mean this is something that existed for horde paladins the whole way through but people just weren't good enough at the game Honestly, and they didn't have as much information and Alliance Paladins didn't have Seal of Blood, which is Seal of the Martyr we talked about, or Seal of Martyrdom, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah, I'm going to use all those words interchangeably. But they didn't have Seal of Blood, so it, there was just less information out there. Now, Burning Crusade Classic came out a couple years ago. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable how fun it was, and people want that back. Paladins want that back. Let's get into the guide itself. Let's get into how to actually seal twist itself. There's a bunch of different variations of seal twisting that exists, so I'm going to go over the basics first. Let's get into it. I want to show you guys exactly uh, how the seal twisting works. I'll, I'll go through it step by step. It's, it's really not too complicated. The first thing I want to show you guys is uh, really the first variation of seal twisting that you're going to get to see in Season of Discovery, which is Seal of Righteousness twisted with Seal of Martyrdom or Seal of the Martyr, Seal of Blood, what, whatever I call it, right? Just for clarification, I'm going to call it all three of those things at different points, but just so you know, those are all terms that I'm going to use interchangeably. So how you want to seal twist is you want to go and you want to have your first seal active. So what I prefer to do is to have seal of righteousness up as the initial seal. And then I like to twist it with seal of martyrdom. So as you can see, I have my righteousness up right now. And then I go and right before I swing, I'm not even attacking right now, but right before I swing, what can I do? I go martyrdom and then I attack. What this does is this applies both the Seal of Righteousness and Seal of Martyrdom damage to my melee swing. So instead of just having one seal active and doing a bonus 24 damage or a bonus 13 damage, I'm, I'm getting both. I'll do this again. I'm gonna go Martyr and then I'm gonna swing and it applies both times. Both Martyr and Righteousness apply on every single hit. So as you see, I'm flipping back and forth. This is what we call a two-way twist, meaning I can start with Righteousness or I can start with Martyr uh, and, and it twists both ways. That's what a two-way twist is when you hear that. The reason why I typically prefer, while I'm leveling here, to open with Righteousness into Martyr is because Judgment of Martyr, uh, Judgment of Martyrdom is much more damage than Judgment of Righteousness. So what I will do is I will go Righteousness, Martyr, Open Attack, Judge, Crusader Strike, and then cast my next seal, which, uh, which would be Martyr. It could be Righteousness, it could be Martyr, but I, I think Martyr is better. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the full opener again uh, that I just mentioned, and uh, you can see this as I have Righteousness up, and uh, if you guys are looking at the, uh, if you guys are looking at the buffs, I, I don't have another Blessing up, I don't have another Aura up, the reason for this is because, especially if you're a new player, I don't want you to get confused, I want you to see the icons. So, uh, you go in there, I have Righteousness up first, and then as I'm about to attack, I wanna go, Martyr and then swing and then I Crusader and I judge and then I go Martyr again 
I don't have time to cast another Righteousness until my next swing. And then I Command, and then I go Martyr again, and then I Judge, and then I go Righteousness, and then I go Martyr again. So that was that was like a full full rotation that I just did on that Tarantula. So let's look at that again. The, the Seal Twisting with Righteousness and Martyr, the two-way twist works like this, where I go Righteousness first, I go Martyr, Swing, Crusader, Judge, Martyr before you swing again, and then I go Righteousness Twist, Crusader, I go Martyr again, I can go Judge, I can go Righteousness, and then I go Martyr again right before I swing. Uh, this is done with a three and a half second speed weapon that I'm using. The Paladin Rotation, whenever it comes to rotations, it actually changes based on your weapon speed. So because it changes based on your weapon speed, what I'm saying here right now, uh, it's it's specific to using a 3.5 speed weapon. At lower levels, you'll see that uh, weapons are much faster on average than at higher levels. Uh, like I said before, typically slower weapons are better depending on what, what seal you want to use. Um, like if you if you use seal of command, for example, you want as slow of a weapon as possible because of the proc per minute, right? You, you Less attacks per minute means that a higher percentage of your uh, attacks that you do hit, the, the higher percentage of your attacks that you're swinging, um, will have seal of command procs because it's seven procs per minute is how that's calculated. So what you just saw was seal of blood or seal of the martyr, seal of martyrdom, and Seal of Righteousness Twist. Now there's several other types of twisting that you can do. This is this is uh, one example of a two-way twist that is currently available. So that's the first example of, of what is a two-way twist. The next example of what is a two-way twist, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on a max level Paladin. So what I wanna show you right here is a two-way twist between uh, Seal of Command and Seal of Righteousness. This is the other two-way twist that is available to you right now in Classic. So. What I want to do here is I'll have Righteousness up, and then I can go and do a Command Swing. And this applies both attacks. Or sorry, to, to each attack it applies both seals. So Seal of Command might not proc, right? But it did there on that last hit. Seal of Righteousness attacks on every swing. So what happened was... I did a melee swing for 377 damage, and I hit that 108 Righteousness damage on each attack. And then I had a Seal of Command crit that hit for about 850 damage, right? About, eight, what was it, like 870 damage-ish. What happens is, you know, traditionally, you, you would either just have Seal of Command up, or you would have Seal of Righteousness up. Now, with Seal Twisting, you basically have both up. Now I want to show you the two-way twist with Seal of Command and Seal of Righteousness on Season of Discovery with Crusader Strike. So, I go in, and I'll have Righteousness up first, and I want to go Command, Swing, Judge, Crusader, Command again, because I won't have time to hit it again. Command is better than Righteousness uh, straight up. Righteousness, Crusader, Command, Judge, Right. Oh, I got stunned. So I got stunned at the end there, but what would have happened is I would have been able to cast a Righteousness, and right before I swung again, it would have been another command, and I would have gotten another twist in there. So if you go and you look at the combat log, if you go and look at the combat log, uh, you can see same sort of thing, where you get each one of those attacks in, so melee, Righteousness, and command all hit, and uh, I also mix in some Crusader Strikes in there as well now. Um, so a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more intense of a rotation now that you have Crusader Strike in there because that uses one more global. You have a one and a half second timer on your global. So keep that in mind. If you want to cast a seal and you expect to be able to twist it, you have to cast the seal before you have one and a half seconds left on your swing timer because of the global cooldown. If I am at one second left before I swing and I cast a seal, if I go Crusader Strike and there's one second left and I cast a seal, then I cannot twist that seal. So there's a certain window of time. This window of time is like 1.9 seconds to, to 1.5 seconds and be able to uh, be able to twist that seal into another seal. Otherwise, you'll miss the window because your, your global cooldown is gonna be up. So, and, that, and that's where that intricacy comes from. So for example, let me show you on the other character. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on this fell beast right here, and I'll have command, and I'll have righteousness. I will swing once without a seal, right? And I will show you guys here on the swing timer. 
if I cast a seal here, I can't twist that seal because my global cooldown was still running while I was waiting for my seal to come up and while I was swinging, my global cooldown was still running. So it, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna show this again where you, uh, I'm going to cast a seal at about the 1.7 second mark. And uh, that's about, I mean, the latest is technically, if we're, if we're looking at like 1.5, right? That's technically like the, the, the deadline, but I'll do it at about the 1.7 second mark where I'm gonna swing first, no seal, just, just for the sake of you being able to see it. So swing, no seal, and then at this time I do it, and then I spam righteousness, and me being, uh, me spamming righteousness as soon as the global came up, I got my command proc, and I got the righteousness proc uh, on top of my melee swing. So that is that is around the, the deadline, the last second that you have, or last millisecond that you have is, is about 1.5 seconds to be able to get it off. So that is how two-way twisting works between, and this works between uh, Seal of Martyrdom and Seal of Righteousness. It works between Seal of Command and Seal of Righteousness, but it does not currently work between Seal of Martyrdom and Seal of Command. And I will talk about that a little bit later. So now there's a few other variations of uh, twisting that can occur, and that's uh, Command, Righteousness, and Martyrdom can do all three of these things. And that is going to Wisdom, to Light, or to justice. But what you can see is you can see command, you can see righteousness, and you can see martyrdom twist into uh, justice and wisdom and light. So seal of justice, seal of light, and seal of wisdom can all be twisted into. Now, technically we don't exactly know for martyrdom uh, until we get to the next phase of season of discovery, but presumably based on how it works, we think that's probably going to be the case. However, it might not be because of something else that I'm going to talk about in a second. So this is a very powerful, more of a PVP technique. As you can see, I have command up right now. So right before I swing, I wanna go justice swing. What that does is that gives both attacks a chance to proc that stun. So I didn't get a seal of command proc there, but what I did get was a seal of justice proc. The seal of command into seal of justice twist is a lot more, uh, this, is, this is a very good technique. It's mostly PvP. I, I don't see people doing it too often, but it's it's won me so many arena matches. It's won me duels. It's won me. It's, it's very strong. It's twisting command into justice gives you basically two chances to proc seal of justice because uh, you have a chance on uh, on the seal of command hit, and then you have a chance on the uh, justice hit. So I have command up right now. I cast justice and then I swing. And that's both attacks, right? So you saw that right there. I, I had a white hit, seal of command hit, and then I also applied that stun over his head. Let me try and do that again for you. So I have seal of command up right now. Let's see if it procs. This is this is two abilities that have a random chance to proc. So so you kind of have to get lucky, but you double the chance with seal of justice with this. So it's 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 much much higher chance. So I, it feels like it's almost guaranteed, but it's not. So if I go if I go command up right now and I go justice swing. Okay, didn't go. Let's do uh, justice. Okay, it procced without the command, but I casted command again. I casted max rank command again, and then I judged it, and then I got a big holy damage bonus out of it, right? So that's that twist. I'll do that one more time, and I'll kind of show you like like the, the stun lock that you can do off of that. I don't have repentance right now, but and if, if I was fighting, if I was in PvP and I had repentance, then I could, I could technically lock somebody down for like 14 seconds of, of lockdown. So if I go here, Command, I go just a swing, I got the proc, I go boom, max rank, and then I stun, I hit this again, and we can even mix in a little bit of righteousness twist, do all that, right? So I wanna show you guys this. This is seal of command into seal of justice twist. Uh, this is a very, very strong PVP technique. Um, and also you can get a little bit of bonus damage out of that, which I'll show you here in just a minute. So what I wanna do here is I go and I have Seal of command up, and I want to cast justice and then immediately swing. It didn't proc. This is two things that I have a chance on hit to proc, so it, it is it is a little bit of RNG. But we got the command, right? We got the command proc, but we didn't get the justice. So let's try it again. So if I go justice swing, I got the proc there. I cast justice again because I have a one and a half second global cooldown. And then I did a judgment of command crit for 877 damage. It did double damage because it was stunned, and it did double damage because it was a crit. So that is a very powerful technique in PvP that you guys can see. 
or, or I mean, really, even if you're killing out like a mob, right? But I went command, seal of justice right before I swing, and I have two chances to proc uh, seal of justice because it's a chance on hit on the melee and it's a chance on hit on the seal of command. So that caused seal of justice to proc for two seconds. Two seconds is less than the one and a half second global, which then gives me the opportunity to cast judgment uh, seal of command again, and then I can judge command into the target. So that's a that's a very powerful seal twisting technique for for big damage. Holy damage cuts through the armor, uh, all that big burst. It's these three attacks: the 359, the four the 464, and then that 877. Uh, so that is the seal of command into justice twist. Again, this also applies to seal of righteousness into justice if you wanted to. I have righteousness up, and then I go. Uh, Command swing, and then it procs right there, and I got both of them in there. You see that, where I go physical, seal of righteousness, and I got the stun. Then I did a max rank command, and then I judge command for 439 damage. So, like I said, this will work for all of them, for righteousness and with, uh, it, and this is, a, this is what you call a one-way twist. What a one-way twist is, it means that justice will not go into command, and justice will not go into righteousness as it currently stands in Classic WoW. And again, uh, on the on the Season of Discovery character, this also works with Martyrdom into Justice. The other two one-way twists are uh, into Seal of Wisdom and into Seal of Light. Now, these are a little bit less useful uh, because you're not really going to... Uh, the, the only time that you would ever really want to twist uh, Wisdom or Light into your command, into your righteousness, or into your Seal of Martyr, um, the only time that you would ever want to twist it into that is... It's if you're trying to be, like, at the utmost efficiency of using your mana and stuff. Because, technically, what you can do is, I already have Righteousness up, or I already have Martyr up, or something. So, I'm about to, I'm gonna wait until I'm about to swing. But if I'm low on mana, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get my mana back. I wait until I'm about to swing, and then I cast Seal of Wisdom. So, Seal of Wisdom can proc off that swing as well. And then I Judge Wisdom, and then I go back to the damage. So, that would be, that would be, like, the most optimal way of doing it. But... It's, it's really min maxi. It's not like it's never useful or like you can't like win like a clutch fight in PvP or something like that uh, with it because you can. Um, but that, that would be the usage of twisting into light or twisting into wisdom with command, righteousness, or martyr. Now here's something else I really want to talk about. And this is, this is, the, uh, this is the dream. The thing that brought and really uh, built this really, really passionate group of people around... Uh, this style of gameplay in Burning Crusade was being able to twist Seal of Command into Seal of Blood in Burning Crusade. Whenever you could do this in Burning Crusade, and this is what unlocked the true potential of what a Rep Paladin can do. This is the the other gameplay, right? Like in Wrath of the Lich King, it's Divine Storm. It's hit your cooldowns as your cooldowns come up. You just hit the cooldowns as fast as you can, but. The power of the seal twist really showed whenever Burning Crusade Classic came out, and people did this in original Burning Crusade as well, but like you really built a community of people that wanted this in Burning Crusade Classic. And being able to twist command into, uh, into blood, into martyr. What this did in Burning Crusade was that you would have a seal of martyr proc on every hit, right? Because you would twist, you go command into martyr, and it would proc seal of blood on every hit. But if you also had a seal of command proc, it would do that seal of blood proc on both hits. So you would go auto attack, blood, seal of command, blood. All of these things scale with your weapon damage. So physical stats. All of these things uh, can scale with your melee crit. All of these things, uh, when it comes to the attack table, are based off your melee hit. So the synergy was incredible. And it made paladins, it made the rotation just buttery smooth. It was, it was so fun. Some people say it's clunky, some people, I, I think it, it just comes with not understanding it, maybe? I, I, I don't know, but I, I feel like the people that love it, really, really love it. And that's the dream. And and that's, that's the last thing I really want to talk about in this video, is I really, really hope that the way Command works, and the way that Righteousness work right now, you can twist off of Command, you can twist off of Righteousness, and you can twist them together, you can do that same thing with Martyr, where you can twist off of Martyr into, uh, into Righteousness, and Righteousness goes into Martyr. But what you really, really want, and what everybody is just begging for right now, is please, 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 Blizzard, give us the ability to twist Martyr 
and Command together. Because that's what we had in Burning Crusade, and that's that true Burning Crusade gameplay that we want the option of in Season of Discovery as Paladins. Because right now, you have the Wrath of the Lich King option. You can go Divine Storm. Like, if, if you like the Wrath gameplay, you have that. We, we are almost there. We're, we're this close. It's the last thing. It is the last thing. If, if, if we had Martyr work the exact same way as Command and Righteousness, it would be absolutely incredible. It would just, it would feel perfect. And I know it's only level 25, and I know we got a long ways to go with Season of Discovery, but man, it's just, there, there is a whole community of Paladin players here that are just chomping at the bit, hoping, begging, praying that we can get this. And I really, really hope that Blizzard can, can figure out this functionality and be able to give that to us uh, as they're continuing to update Season of Discovery. So if you guys want this, please leave a comment below and, and uh, keep fighting. Keep fighting for the cause. And, and hopefully we can get uh, Martyr and Command Twist uh, going forward. Now, with all that being said, after watching this video, I hope you guys understand everything there is to know about seal twisting in Classic WoW. This applies to Classic Era. This applies to Burning Crusade, which doesn't currently exist. It applies to Season of Discovery, which I think there's a lot of people that are new to the game, uh, new to Classic, new to Season of Discovery, all that stuff, right? Obviously, we're all new to Season of Discovery, but I hope this video served you well. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you guys like these style of videos, if you guys want more guides, let me know. Uh, I, you know, I, I really, if the videos do well, if, uh, if I get a lot of good feedback from them, all that stuff, and people want me to keep doing them, I know this one was a little bit more in-depth. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much. If you guys like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Turn on your notifications. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.